Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to science lesson 2. In this lesson, you will learn what are some sound around us. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify different types of sound around you and you will also know that we use hearing to sense danger and as well as some pleasant sounds okay now this seems really interesting danger and pleasant sound let's see what we are going to tell you today in this lesson what are some sound ar sounds around us close your eyes and don't make a sound how do you hear sound Think about it. You hear sounds with your ear. Keep your eyes closed. No cheating. Now, what sounds do you hear right now? You can hear your teacher talking. Can you hear some other sounds right now? Think about those sounds. But keep your eyes closed and think about all this. Remember, you're going to only use your sense of hearing. What direction it is coming from? Where the sound is coming from? Is it coming from your bedroom? From your kitchen? From the door? From the window? Or your baby or mom is talking. Where is it coming from? From your left or right? Think about it. Did you give it a thought? Well done. Now you can open your eyes. Good job. Think about these questions that I ask you. Let's move on to the next one. What is a source of sound? Many things around us make sounds. Humans. Who are human? Me and you. People. Yes, girl, boys, mom, dad. We are human, right? We are people, so we are humans. Animals. Who are animals? Cats, dogs, lion, birds, and so on. There are many, many, many animals right and non-living things so these three things make sound humans animals and non-living things make sound non-living things you must be thinking people can talk and make sound animals also make sound like cats birds and dogs non-living things can you think do you remember the lesson we did yesterday yes cars airplanes bicycles are those all humans or animals or they are non-living things can they eat food can they grow can they reproduce have a young no because they are non-living things but they still make sound. So, non-living things do make sounds. Sound can come from any of these three things. Humans, animals, and non-living things around us. Okay, guys? Let's move on to the next one. I hope you are getting me. A thing that makes sound is a source of sound. I taught you this thing in the last lesson, if you remember. Things that make sound, we call them source of sound. Something that makes sound is called source of sound. Good job, grade one. Let's listen to the next one. There is a fun part for you now. Can you make some sounds with your voice? and different parts of your body. 
Try making some funny sounds. Look at the first picture. What do you see? I can see picture showing snapping fingers. Can you hear? Can you make it? Give it a try. Next, get a partner. Or even if you don't have a partner, you can clap here on your own. Try. What's that sound? Clapping. Listen to this sound now. What was that sound? Whistling. Yes, the boy is whistling. So all these sounds you are making using different parts of your body. Isn't it fun? You can go on and try making some more fun sounds with your different parts of body. I want you all now to go back and answer listening assessment. You have a small assessment? Go answer that and don't forget to watch a video. And there's also an additional activity sheet for you. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Take care and assalamu alaikum for now. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.